It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are? I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. This is my complete set of Tolkien books, including three pristine sets of Lord of the Rings, The Adventures of Tom Bombadil, The Cimmerillion, just to start. I reread them from time to time. This section includes the complete history of Mucus Phlegm, the pointed history of point-and-click graphic adventures, and walkthroughs for all Mucus Phlegm games. These are my Chronicle of Narnia and Hitchhiker's Trilogy. I love my books. It's a red gel decoder. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. Seems like the mail should have a- Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Someday we'll have one for real. These are my Kirk's box slash fiction books. I'm a believer. These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday they'll do a TV show. These are part of my action figure collection. This is my complete set of Nancy Drew mysteries. I'm kind of a fan, I guess. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. You're a rebel, Billy. Seems like the Halbert's my hero. Ouch! No pinching. Where am I? Where am I? Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but, um... I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this! You're brothers! Take a chill pill! You started the pillow factory together! Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes, you know... Your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8mm point-tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2mm flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. 
I know you'll keep the Edmund Pillow dream alive. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. The fireplace looks very clean. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie, hot from the oven. This thimbleberry pie is a miracle. It's a door. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true! I'm going to apply! Interest. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Digging in the front green! Digging! It's special gas for chainsaws only. It's pretty full. It's very dry firewood. Digging in the front green! Digging in the front green with my rusty... What is that dripping out of the bottom? Yuck. It's a microwave oven. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs.
This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 Library Filing Lookup System. It uses the Spewy Decimal System to catalog books. It says, out of order. I know. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea, and he's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence, and stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. It's just an old phone. One of the few things in this mansion that's not Tron enhanced. Why do I let him talk to me like that? Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm... I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Uncle Chuck never makes his bed. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. It's a whip made out of network cables. 
The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by GetDigital.eu. I guess Uncle Chuck was an impatient system admin back in the day. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. My dear Dolores, please leave my box alone. You may open it up as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory. It's a defunct robot prototype. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? Dolores, my dear, don't touch the painting. You'll get access to it and what's behind it after you've taken over the pillow factory. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Terrible argument. The sign says it's out of order. No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Terrible argument. That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist.
That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edyr the Dragonslayer. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? Next question, what do mucus source level debuggers run on? Next question, what are room backgrounds compressed into? Next question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. I see some black powder around the edges, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Just get some polycyclic hydrocarbons along with methyl ethyl ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Hello, my favorite niece. How do I make printer ink? Printer ink is a scam. 
Make your own, like I showed you. And if you really want to do it cheaply, just get some ash and gasoline and mix well. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Carefully handling broken glass? If this were a Sierra Online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Flam adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay? Sure would like to work there. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Pretty wilted. Who knows how long this has been in here. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. They look pretty old. I think I see mold growing on one. Looks good enough for a snack. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. The glass is now filled with water. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, there's no paper in the Printron 3000. There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part.
Now I just need to stamp the envelope. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly pro- I don't want to pull the stamps off. They might rip. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Open that. It's already closed. It's already closed. Ouch! The letter's hot, but I need steam to get the stamps off. I'd have to pick it up first. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. Diggin'! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Diggin'! How exciting. I hope I get the job. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Diggin'? Diggin'. I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Diggin' in the front green! Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. 
I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... I can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck about my job offer. He'll be so proud. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillotronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real-life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. Shut down.